meal always makes it taste extra good. Well, shall we start cleaning up? Here. The Moonlight Bridge is to the right, and over there is Polonia Mall. Oh, and did you know you can also see our dorm from here? Back in Yakushima, where I'd been sleeping, the ocean waters were much clearer than they are here. But I prefer the view here. Hmm. Before I came here, I didn't even think about whether I liked the scenery or not. What about you? Do you like it here? I'm so glad to hear that. <sighs> Feeling the same way? Watching the same scenery? It's nice. I began to feel emotions towards various things that I hadn't felt before. It's a little scary sometimes. If I can change by being with you, then I want to cherish these feelings. Oh, I'm sorry to have gone on for so long. It's still January, so the winds can get quite chilly up here. It would be awful if you caught a cold. with the repellent. That should be enough for today. Let's head back now.
I've been waiting. I finished my story and wanted to show it to you. I was having a lot of trouble with the ending, but I finally figured it out. After the alligator ate his friend, the bird, he cried and cried for a long time. In fact, he was so sad that he drowned in his own tears. His tears became a sparkling lake around which grew beautiful flowers and a tree that bore delicious fruit. The other animals in the forest came there often to relax, but none of them knew the alligator had created it or that he was gone. The end. That's the ending I decided on. Even though the alligator didn't find meaning in his life, the residents of the forest did. They just didn't realize it. The meaning of my life isn't something I should spend my time on. It's more about how I was able to affect others. So, for me, or you, or anyone, just simply existing gives our lives meaning. People can't survive without help from others. We all depend on one another. I don't know how to explain it, but does that make sense? I'm glad. This is the notebook I wrote my story in. I've poured my heart and soul into it. I wanted to give you this, since you shared my final moments. <sighs> my body feels lighter. I'm so grateful to have met you. It seems so insignificant, but maybe there was some meaning in it for both of us. Thank you. In the end, I'm glad that I was born. I am thou. Thou art I. The bond thou hast nurtured hath finally matured. The innermost power of the Sun Arcana has been set free. We now bestow upon thee the ultimate form of the Sun within thyself. See you back. Ah, walking the dog, huh? I didn't know you had one. We used to have a dog, too. Man, that brings back memories. <laughs> He's a lively one, isn't he? I bet running alongside this little guy would be great practice. For now, I'll run along home. I'll see you later.
Takoyaki. Oh, I think I know now. I'm gonna go with Mom. She can't cook or clean or do anything on her own. So I'm gonna be there to help her. I think Dad's gonna be okay by himself. He can get along fine without me. So, um... Mom and I are gonna move away soon. <sighs> hey, even if I'm gone, we'll still be friends, right? Mm -hmm. Friends forever. Ever and ever and ever, okay? You can't forget about me. Never, ever, okay? I gotta get ready to move. Do I have to go home now? See you later, okay? some spice today. Go ahead and blend it however you like. Oh, I always find this to be so relaxing. I suppose you could call it a moment of bliss. Let me know whenever you're in the mood for more tea. I'd be happy to treat you.
stay behind me. This could be dangerous. They seem very angry. You're the ones that I often see at the shrine. What's wrong? <laughs> what? Koromaro-san? You think we what? Wait, we aren't mistreating Koromaro-san. It's true that he's been helping us in our battles, but... What? No. Oh, um... These are Koromaro-san's old friends. They doubt our intentions regarding Koromaro-san, since he's been more frequently injured lately. How can we make them understand? This is all a misunderstanding, everyone. Please, don't be angry. Just calm down. I'm so sorry. My hand is hard. I see. No wonder they're suspicious of me. My body is completely unnatural to them. I hope that dog isn't hurt. I've been thinking lately. No matter how human my heart becomes, my body will always remain a machine. Of course, it's obvious when you think about it, but I'm not strong enough to be a weapon, and I'm too stiff to pass as a human. There's nowhere I truly belong. I'm neither completely machine, nor quite human. <sighs> but... <sighs> oh... I'm sorry. Thank you. You're right. Even if I can't quite explain it, I have to be true to myself. Hmm. Sorry for bringing all of this up. If I hadn't been created, I never would have met everyone. And that includes you. If I can stay by your side, then nothing should faze me. I know that. sure that Koromaru-san's friends understand our situation. I don't want you to end up in danger again. I'll see you later. Excuse me. Oh, there you are. We're all going to Hagakure. Wanna come? Ah, that one. Sonata-san's buying today. You remember that bet we made in Yakushima? Ah, you probably forgot all about it by now. Well, you won in the end. Even if it was, I guess. But whatever, Sonata-san still lost, right? Even if it took me like six months to make him admit it. Come on, everyone else already left. We got a jet. Everyone's okay with the special, right? Okay, five specials, please! <laughs> Man, this is awesome! Sonata-san's never treated us all to ramen before. I'll accept that I lost. But why do I have to treat all of you? You're still going on about that? Come on, Sonata-san, a bet's a bet! You gotta pay up! All right, all right. I never said I wouldn't. What's wrong, I guess? You doubting me too? No, but have you seen the magazine on the counter? The headline caught my attention. What magazine? This one, Emergence of a Messiah. The charismatic one speaks. Oh, it must be about that doomsday cult. They're all over the internet, too. Huh. Hmm? Hey, look at this photo. 
Check out their so-called messiah. What the? Is that Takaya? I thought something was up. So, it's Strega after all. I just lost my appetite. Listen. Mankind is currently imprisoned by the sins of hate and anger. But soon, a savior will descend upon this world to break the chains that bind us and lift us to new heights. This great being is known as Nyx. I have beheld her glory, and she has blessed me with power beyond belief. When Nyx arrives, there will be no more pain, no more suffering. Humanity shall be freed. How the hell does he know about Nyx? Wait, he's saying that Nyx will save the world? But that's a lie. I don't think that even matters. This is all just a game to him. That bastard! But there are those who do not understand the truth, even though they have also been granted her blessing. They have acquired the same power as I, yet they abuse it for their own personal gain. These miscreants are the ones to blame for the recent tragedies that have been plaguing our streets. Wait, is he talking about us? Right, right. Sorry. But can you blame me? And what do they mean by the charismatic one? Why is he suddenly a celebrity? Well, apparently Jin was already pretty well known on the internet. He's probably good at influencing public perception. Yeah, I bet he orchestrated Takaya's rise to fame by building his brand like a celeb. Ugh. Those two make me sick. Brothers and sisters, I shall go forth to make preparations for Nyx's arrival. But do not fear those evildoers who desecrate their gifts. Nyx shall right their wrongs. May your hearts be filled with peace as you await your salvation. Blessed are those who take joy in the coming of Nyx. The revolution is upon us, my brethren. Revolution? People can't seriously be buying this crap, can they? Perhaps the power of an exceptionally charismatic individual is the only way to change this nebulous future. That's the end of the article. It appears Strega disappeared again after the interview. Well, there's only one place they could have gone. Tartarus. <laughs> They're just wasting everyone's time. Still, it seems they've managed to shift the atmosphere of the entire city, even if they don't say it out loud. People must be scared inside. Yeah, they probably are. Why else would anyone believe this nonsense? It's not normal. Believing what you hear is a choice. There's no real way for them to know what's true. Well, no wonder it feels like the world's ending. We're all gonna die. But is that so unusual? All life will eventually come to an end. Does Nyx's involvement change that in some way? Death is a natural occurrence in the cycle of life. Don't all humans realize this? I guess. Tell you the truth? I never even would have thought about my own death if none of this happened. But we're already here, so why don't we just leave it at that? Our target is Nyx. If Strega gets in our way, we'll deal with them, too. That's all there is to it. Agreed. We'll probably run into them in Tartarus anyway. No matter how you look at it, they want us out of the picture. Promise day's almost here, huh? Yeah. We need to do all we can until then. All right. And first things first, we're gonna need lots of energy. Let's eat! Excuse me! I'll add a Hagakure bow to the list! You don't mind, right, Sonata-san? Oh, Junpei, didn't you say you were eating half of Igus' food, too? <laughs> don't worry, I'm starving. You better eat it all.